perishable food are items which are likely to decay or become unsafe to eat if they are not properly stored or consumed soon after purchase. And that's our focus today on Market Flow on ARCN TV. Mabushi Abuja, I am Fatima Suleiman, welcoming you to Duse Market on the program Market Flow. Let's hear from more of our traders on the types and prices of perishable items they sell. A staff of Barilla Council. Yes, ma. Uh, I am the market manager of this market. Yes. This market is being controlled by Barilla Council. And uh, we have thousands of traders in this this large market. Uh, we have people selling tomatoes, which are petty traders. And we have people selling in the shops, which are shop owners. And uh, based on this market, Monday is the major market day. As you can see, today is feed up. The ordinary day is not feed up as today. Yes. The Monday is different with others. Uh, today market being the Monday is feed up with people. 
Yeah. If it is tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you not see people like this. Yes. The the name Dusa Laji Market. I think it's all over FCT. Not only FCT. People do come from Nasarawa State, even from Kaduna State, from Ninja State, from Benue and Kogi State. They will come and buy, some, some will come and buy, and some will come and sell. Yes. Actually, the way things are now, it is only the grace of God that is making people surviving. The increase of goods is very high. Today you are buying a tomatoes of 2,000 era. When coming tomorrow, you hear 2,500 or 3,000 era. So the increment or the increase is everyday business. Yes, I'm aware of the increasing or increment of the price of the goods. But the cost, I may be wrong by saying, because some are saying it is dollar. And actually, it may not be the dollar. Because for now, the president is doing his best. But the people within, not even the president, but all the blame is going to the president, but the president is doing his best. The problem is within us. Some, they have their goods, they will not sell until when, until, until when the price has been increased before they now bring their goods and sell at a high price. Uh, the challenges that we have in this market, this market is very big, very wide. We only have two roads. And most of the times in a market like this, Monday, the market do congest because of the population of the market. We are seeking to the government to at least open more gate for us which it will help us, it will help the traders to have other roads that they can pass easily to avoid congestion. And in a market like this, because of the size of the market, if supposed to have a police station in the market, it could have been of help to us. Despite we, the management, we have been doing our best. But still, there are some cases that until we go to FCD police station, before we now settle the issue. But if the police outpost is being set in in the market, it will help us. I'm selling tomatoes, onions, and pepper, everything, uh, since five years ago. Since when I started this, my business, the thing know they go, know they go down. Anytime I they grow, the business they grow. I don't have any problem with my customers because, you know, say, if you are a very true trust person, truthfulness person, so you, you will get plenty of customers. So last two weeks, I, I'm selling this dustbin basket. I'm selling it like 2002 pipe. Because the thing that time, the thing don't come down. But now the thing don't go up again. Because of the dollar. They say dollar don't go up. So anything we compare dollar, <laughs> even our things go go up. But we know we will know how we go, even explain the thing. We can't even explain how the team take the touch and uh, peg our business because we will know they use dollar. We know they use dollar go by our market. We can't even concern tomatoes with dollar. But anytime where dollar go up, they, they go say they, they must add money for us. And today what you see, the, uh, last week I go buy this basket of tomatoes, 15,000. Today I go buy 28,000. I'm telling you. So now, if if my if I can sell last week, if I sell my customers this those bin basket, if I sell them for um, like two pipe, if I can tell and say may add five hundred, buy and three thousand now. Some people when no gay understand. The people say you don't cheat them because they can't even believe that. How you go come buy something of two pipe last week? From last week to now, the thing will come at 500. So, now the current country where we did, small plates. We, we are using two baskets this small rubber and this dustbin basket. Yes, 500. You know, they sell less than 500. 
I not sell it less than 500 <laughs> because they 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 close to me and sometimes they they cheap pass everywhere in this Abuja. This week I know if you sell my tomato to my tomato two five this week because the thing don't go up. The, something I buy last week. 15,000. Today I go buy 28,000. I don't know. You know that how this is our business where you see. Tomorrow you can go and buy it 10,000 safe or less than that. So now so this is our market be. Pepe, we are selling this those bean basket 5,000. The back, we are buying it 85,000. Half, that is 2,500. 500. Onions now, on, you know, say onions now, now this season. Onions don't come down because that uh, December time. We are selling these doors, we must get 6,000, 6,500, even 55 Because that time we are buying the back, 120, 110, 100,000. Depending on how the onions look like. So now we are buying the back, 45,000. You know, say white onions, the black one day. So this one, I am with the call the black one. But me, I know they said the white one. The difference is that that white one, some people say that white one, sweet past this this black one but me i know the cook i know no shah i don't know about all those kind of things only was cheap because this was being basket where we sell six thousand before now now two thousand five it didn't don't cheap because you know that anybody where they born for this country you know go even complain because if you won't come market now safe no need to even write list if you won't come market just carry your money come anything where you where your money rich to buy may you buy even though you, you write that list, you must delete it because that money no go even reach you do anything. I'm telling you. Assume say, assume say you want to buy 100,000 market now. And you can't see like, if you are buying tomato 2.5, now you can't hear say na 3.5. So if you want to buy like 5 basket, so you go add 1,000 1, for that 5 basket. So the money no go reach you do anything. And any way where you go, you go here say everything don't add money. We no even know what thing they even cause this kind of thing. You know say this this thing a weather. Like now, that cold weather, these are our things. No two they spoil, but now we hit day too much. If you reach like two days, uh you go wash and again, arrange them back, commode the budget. But no, onions, we know onions know the quick spoil. Onions go just the dry by, by himself. Even pepper, they like tomatoes. If you reach like two days, you must arrange it again because the thing will go down. And some customers, if they come sell like this, they no go buy until the thing they fresh. I'm selling the Irish now, 5,000. The bag, we are buying it for 80,000. And now from just now from just then they carry and come. No, the, now the bag they, they bring them for us. So we go arrange them for this dos members get they sell them five five thousand. Sweet potato this dos members get now two thousand last. The Irish potato dos members get now five thousand. Uh, you know say Irish some people they talk say now or evil food, but you know that not be everybody they chop sweet potato but this Irish because the Irish they because of the small small children that is why some people they even buy maybe because of their self. I sell cashew here and abandoned. We've been in the business for a while. So my mom sells. I assist her in selling here too. The market is okay. I think it's better than doing nothing at the moment. As a student, it's better than doing nothing, sitting at home, doing job, job counting and not getting positive results. So yeah, I'd rather go to the market and buy things to sell and gain some profit. Though the, the market now, because of the scarcity of fuel and all of that, increase of prices, we are finding it difficult to, you know, get our own income on every purchase we make daily. We are, we are managing, <laughs> thank God. Like now for the cashew, um, this this set is to 200 yeah. The bigger set is to 250 which unlike before, 
last year, which is a period. You know, it's a period. It's supposed to be more lesser and cheaper. Before we sell like 150 or 100 naira, 100 naira. But due to fuel, adding your fuel prices, we buy from you know far place like yeah, we buy from far place, bringing from the farm here, the motor expenses and everything. We tend to increase the prices to what it is now, which is. 200 to 50. No, really. Generally, I think it is a general problem because you won't blame the farmers because it is what it is. For them to be able to take the goods from the farm, they have to use like transportation method. And that transportation method, right now, fuel is scarce and cost also. They have to spend money on transporting the goods to the market. And for us, the buyers too, we have to go to the market and buy, and that results to increase and everything. Yeah, for the PM, for now, we sell at the rate of 500 naira. For just a single one, yes, a ripe PM, one is 500 naira. At least we sell for 400. And when we have maybe a terrible bad market, we might sell for 300 naira. Yes, so that it won't spoil, you know, it's a perishable item to get ripe and all of that you want to keep your goods down for the pier if it's unripe you can keep them for like three days four days ahead then sell for the cashew just two days two days at most yes yes at a lesser price uh you know that will result to your you not having your profit while you used to buy them you're not getting it back now for the PA, as at last year, we were selling for 200 naira. Or you can even get for 150 as at early last year. But <laughs> it's what you buy from the markets because when you tell some buyers now, okay, this is 400 naira, this is 500 naira, they'll be like, oh, wow, why would it be these expenses and all of that? It is expensive because the cost, even the PSF is expensive. The cost, the transportation, everything. When you talk about leather, the leather we package it to and give to the customer, it is expensive. Now it's three expensive than the normal price of before. Yeah. The abalumo, yeah. Do you believe a single abalumo now it's 15 naira? Just one. Just one piece is 15 naira. Last week, Saturday, last Saturday, we sold three for 200 naira. Just three pieces for 200 naira. So the market is just revolving. And the thing is, it becomes expensive, expensive, expensive. What you buy, you tend to, you know, cut up on cuts, on prices, on costs, then you sell to see okay, if you see few incomes from it and manage it. Almost everybody's complaining. But what can you do? You have to still buy, you have to still eat. Yeah, it is. It is. Some you tell them the price, like, oh no, I cannot afford it. Just they go. And some, you know, the sales we are having before, we are not having it now. Yeah, because of the increase of prices in all of it. I don't know, like, it's kind of complicated, the country is complicated, the government is complicated, issues is complicated, uh, you know, it's kind of, I believe if the government can cut down of the fuel prices and the exchange rates, if it goes down, I think, yeah, things will be a little bit stable and all of that. I'm selling plantain. I am in this business almost five years ago. If you want to start, if you want to start by the grace of God, for what, what you are passing through in Nigeria, now you need to learn it before you start. You just enter and, and begin to sell the market. Our Nigeria is not looking like it before again. We are managing ourselves now. I'm selling bended plantain. There is two types of plantain. Bended plantain is there. Guadi plantain is there. The best one is bented. That is why that is used to sweet. Uh, like now, when it is there, okay, this plantain will not sell at 800 naira. Like as it is now, it's my own from Zubato here, it's 115. From Zubato here, it's then my own hand, it's 115. How can he sell it and for me to get my own as it is? They depend on size. They are the small size, they are the big size. And like as it is, so I can sell 2,025 so that my money will come out. That is why we are not buying it as much. We are buying the one that we can sell for money to give. They are not complaining because they know what is what we are passing through in Nigeria. They are not complaining at all. 
except the foolish one where the one where no the foolish one where the thing no touch in Nigeria. They are the one complaining. The way forward of this our market, we need the help of Nigeria. That is only what we need. Where is too much? May they look into for us. For two months. Before, before we are calling, carry this one from Zubato here. Each, each one, this one, it go be 500. Now, one five. From Zubato here, only two dollars is one five. May you see this difference between 500 and 1,500. This may they look into food for us. It's too much. It's too much. Hunger, hunger too much. Hunger is killing people. Don't think that you are eating and others no feet, you are comfortable. We are not comfortable. Please, sir, please. I'm selling Irish potatoes and the sweet potatoes. The type of Irish potato are the same matter. The Irish potato, the types, the types are all good. You know, again, many types, but the type of Irish is matter. One time, yeah, I'm selling. Because I'm being, I yes, I don't look for the type of my life. So that, that's why any time I want to wake up, I'll, I'll do better. Because it's like, if you do better, you go see better. Customers, many customers, they don't say, different Irish do. That's the customer why they do business with them. With them. They're not saying I'll collect one I buy. So no need to explain it to you. Before the battle of the Irish. Mm, the Irish is too, uh, too uh, the battle of the Irish is too tight. For just their own back, their own fertilizer back. But don't worry, they bring to Abuja. That one uh, the big sack. Where they contain that plateau on two. For the one way we will bring for the buy before, before the buy the thing fifty thousand, fifty five thousand, higher sixty thousand. So for now, we everything now. Then her, you know, so they buy the thing ninety thousand. Sometimes I will buy hundred thousand. Okay, this bring basket. Mm. So we just say market is market. For my own now, why do you say this condition where they, they, they are, our country they, they help ourselves. Nobody will come help us. And they put small price. If say for each one basket, I will pick get 200, 300. If I sell at like four, four, five, four, five thousand, and I can't get 200 or 300 inside. If they are going to from media, and so so like they put you out with it. So I will sell at like four, five, five thousand. One basket, I will pick only two, 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 two. Smallest price. I will be sure you look at the, the, the small, the small container. Like this. Of, you know, say, some people they won't come back say they need to know one. Go use this one legend, sell them for them. My phone then. They have to be inside. No go past one. Or ten like that. If you say they have to be, no go past ten or two. You only five hundred they give them. But me for my own sake, I declare me everything come down. But for now. As we see the, how the condition be. So, I would get everything. If God wants to make everything fall down, that will be good. If God no one like that, it's going to still go like that. But I, for my own thinking, you still know you say you won't come down. Like, you see the high is most possible. That's what they say. You see, but it's only the basket. 2,500. Understand? Because the bag, the film now will say, I come back and buy it. What I buy the one bag? I buy it at 5,000. One bag. One bag of two potato. You see what we buy them before 12,000, 13,000. But now I buy it at 5,000. So, we okay, should be this. I got money for leather, for transport, and everything. For eating. It's in the highest, we go get that like 37, 38 for the bag. So that's why they could be a basket for two five. If any of any of the people beg to beg, you know, say now why can I beg him begging? We go with the go wife and why can I beg with the beg to buy it? People will come by for our hand. And I beg with the beg. So they sell us for like I used to buy for two thousand. They complain oh they complain oh because what is the beg and they complain? Because some people they don't get money. They are what they do. They come on transport and they spend the money for transport. Understand? So that you don't get money to buy what you go buy it. People they complain, not this much. It affects me. The person who make this thing affect like that, I will be to say now because of self You can get serious of something. Because I'm from self You say that, but many Nigerian people they never know say something is get important for Nigeria. But now, even even picking where get where they inside Berlin now, I know say something. Very important for Nigeria. Any small start 
because like this, because Nigeria, like this, because of subsidy. We say now, the president will bring their subsidy back. I'm telling you, today or tomorrow, everything will come back. I'm telling you that. It's a president now. If we look at this people, uh, these uh, people right there in Nigeria where they cry, some way they die. If you president that look up, that's it. Bring the subsidy back. I tell you, so anything where they cause like this rice, this part, everything, we go for granted. But if you say this subsidy is still there, mm, everything will not come down at the day. That's the issue. And I pray for my president and my country and my people. You know, everybody happy. So. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Market Flow on ARCN TV at Duse Market. Don't forget to join us next week on another interesting episode of the program Market Flow. I am Fatima Suleiman. <laughs>